Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to talk to you guys about a potential major Steam update that could be coming within the next four to six months, early next year. Valve working to improve download speeds for users ahead of the Steam Deck launch. We'll talk about that. And also, while I've talked about some Black Friday deals from a game standpoint, there are some other deals as far as accessories and one specific uh, SSD deal that did uh, get my interest. So I'll mention that as well at the end of this video. And then one other thing I did want to mention that I found kind of humorous with Cyberpunk 2077 being on sale at GOG. The lowest uh, price yet for the PC version of the game, but probably still not worth it. Again, more on that at the end of this video. But first of all, Valve working to improve download speeds for users ahead of Steam Deck launch. Now, this came from... A new Valve patent suggesting the company is working to improve the way content downloads and are handled on its devices. The patent is titled Efficient File Delivery Techniques and is looking to optimize download times and network bandwidth. There's a, a bit more information. I'll leave the nitty gritty in the description box below. You guys can check out GameRant.com. I don't know about you guys, and I've heard various things, but for me, while I don't have bad download speeds on Steam by any stretch of the imagination, I have decent download speeds on there. However, I do have to say that I get exponentially better download speeds on uh, just about every other platform, whether it be the Xbox app, whether it be Origin, all those speeds on those platforms, I get much better speeds than I do on Steam. Look, the Steam speeds I get aren't like grading by any stretch of the imagination, especially because usually when i'm downloading a game i like to let it download like overnight so i really don't even think about it sometimes i'll download a game throughout the day but that's few and far between but i know a lot of people that have like the same speed across the board on every different platform let me know what you guys think however if i can get any better speeds on steam i would like it it's not something that i'm absolutely you know chomping at the bit for i've never really thought hey it would be great if steam up to download speeds just because again for the majority of the times if i want to download something i set it to download overnight and then by morning it's already finished downloading and i'm good to go i really do that on every platform i have that i buy digital games on uh, i just let it download overnight or when i'm not even using the platform and not even thinking about it rather than being like super eager being like oh is it done yet is it done yet no i really don't do that uh especially if it's a game that i know i'm going to be playing day one and i pre-ordered it uh yeah preloading's a thing so i do that but i do know some people don't have the best internet speeds in the world and with 100 gigabyte games at times even preloading it could take a couple days and yeah that's a little bit unfortunate so if those speed uh boosts do help you i mean i doubt it's going to be like again exponential increases or anything like that but it would be interesting and again it looks like this would be coming ahead of the Steam Deck's launch in early next year. Obviously, Steam Deck was supposed to come out, I believe, quarter four of this year. Then it got pushed back due to storage, uh, storage and things like that. So, yeah, a bummer there. But something that probably wasn't all too surprising. All right, moving on from that, I do want to quickly note some deals on Amazon. There are some okay deals. For those of you that are looking to buy a gaming PC, really haven't seen anything on that. That might come Black Friday day. Uh, day. I did get a pretty decent deal on a pre-built PC on Prime Day, so... I mean, not that much has changed since Prime Day, so hopefully they got some offerings, but if they do, uh, it's going to go out of stock pretty quickly, so you want to be in tap with that as soon as possible. But, did notice the Samsung 870 Evo 500 gigabyte SSD down to $65, literally half of what I paid for my 120 gigabyte Samsung Evo, but that was, you know, back in 2013, 2014, so it's been quite a while. $65 for a Samsung Evo, I think is pretty good. It typically goes for like 80 bucks, so a little bit of a discount here, $15 off. Thought that was worth a mention. 500 gigabytes, decent amount of storage to use as kind of like probably an accessory drive to your main storage drive. I, you know, usually like to have my main drive be at least a terabyte, especially these days, but you can get by with 500 gigabytes, but it is going to be a little bit limiting, but there you go, $65 on that. On top of that, there is a deal on HyperX PC gaming components. They just got some deals on their headsets and their keyboards. You're looking at 40% off, 20% off on some of the higher-end ones. Uh, the headsets are relatively cheap right now. HyperX Cloud Alpha, 40% off for $60. Bucks. The HyperX Cloud 2, unfortunately, not seeing a steep discount. That's still $130. It is 13% off. But, uh, yeah, nevertheless, HyperX Cloud Core is 29% off at $50, and then the HyperX Cloud is 40 bucks. So, yeah, I'll leave links to all that in the description box below. It is Amazon affiliated, so I get a bit of a kickback, so that is appreciated. Lastly, I do want to go over something that I found a little bit humorous. Uh, 
It's been going around a little bit, GOG promoting that they're doing their Black Friday sale. Hey, good on them. They got a lot of gr good deals. They're a good platform. Go check it out. But they were promoting Cyberpunk 2077 as the best PC price ever, which they're not wrong. It is the best PC price ever. It's 50% off for $29.99. And maybe at a surface level, you'd think, hey, that's a really good deal. But the console version is going for 10 bucks. Yeah, $10 for the PS4 and Xbox One version, which I believe has an uncapped frame rate on next generation platform so it's not as big of a mess look if you buy it if you're buying it on like standard ps4 you might as well just use it as a coaster at that point but still $30 to $10 is wild to me I know a lot of people I've been seeing on social media say yo cyberpunk ain't even worth $10 I don't think that's the case look I know cyberpunk 2077 was a grandiose disappointment it was an extreme disappointment but at $10 bro at this stage of the game it's not like you're hyped up for the game and you have that crazy level of hype going into that December 2020 release now things have tempered out and if you're paying 10 bucks for cyberpunk 2077 I think it's a fine purchase 30 bucks eh Still think that's a little bit pricey, but hey, did want to make mention of that. I found that humorous more than anything. But that's going to do it for me again. Valve working to improve download speeds on Steam. So hopefully that, you know, shows uh, some modest improvements. I'm not expecting anything too crazy, but it'd be nice if we got minor improvements. Samsung 870 Evo 500GB SSD, $65 on that. Some good deals on HyperX PC products. And that Cyberpunk deal, if you want it, I mean, 30 bucks. Take it for what you will. Don't expect anything completely blow away here. If you never played Witcher 3, just go pay 10 bucks and go play that. But that's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.